I'm Dr. Sherry Stridehorst. I am the Regional Variety Trial Coordinator with the Alberta Wheat and Barley Commissions. The Regional Variety Trials provide variety performance data in the Alberta Seed Guide. This project is funded in part by the Government of Canada and the Government of Alberta through the Canadian Agricultural Partnership. We would also like to acknowledge ARDAR for their support of this project. We're at the Nutrien Regional Variety Trial site near Neapolis, Alberta, in the heart of Mont Barley growing country on August 11, 2022. Since seeding, and this site was seeded on May the 10th, we've had 12 inches of rain here. Now this is 130% of the rainfall that would be typically received in this area. Now the season was drier than normal um, right after planting, so through early May and through early June, and then there was significant rainfall in mid-June and early July, which is uh, added up to that 12 inches of rainfall. Now to compound that 12 inches of rain that we had in mid-June and early July, we've had really moderate temperatures. Growing degree days are at 100% of normal, meaning that the temperatures are very typical for this area. So the crop that we're seeing here in 2022 does not have the heat or the drought stress like what we observed in 2021. Now, a long-standing issue in the Canadian malt industry has been the acceptance of new varieties that represent improvements in agronomics and disease resistance over their long-standing commercially accepted counterparts. And those long-standing commercially accepted counterparts are AC Metcalf and CDC Copeland. Now, to promote new varieties to growers and malt buyers, the Canadian Malting Barley Technical Centre has malt barley variety trials being grown throughout Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Now, the Alberta sites, and we're going to move from southern Alberta to the Peace Region, are Lethbridge, an irrigated site, a Lethbridge dryland site, Hannah, Neapolis, where we are today, Lacombe, Edmonton, Westlock, Folair, and Fort Vermilion. Now due to the wetter and more average temperatures that we're seeing in the 2022 growing season, we're seeing very typical performance of the height and disease characteristics of these varieties and how they would perform in central Alberta. Long-standing malt barley varieties. AC Metcalf, Secan is the distributor. It was bred by Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada in Brandon, Manitoba and was registered in 1997, so in 2022 it is 25 years old. In 2021 it was still grown on 4.5% of the barley acres in Alberta. It's susceptible to scald and net form net blotch with only intermediate resistance to other smuts, spot form net blotch, spot blotch and fusarium head blight. It is a two row variety with only fair lodging resistance. The height in the seed guide is listed as 79 centimeters, but this can differ based on the growing conditions. CDC Copeland. Secan is the distributor. It was bred at the University of Saskatchewan's Crop Development Center and was registered in 1999. So in 2022, it is 23 years old. In 2021, it was the most commonly grown malt barley variety seeded on approximately 14% of the barley acres in Alberta. It's a two row variety. CDC Copeland is susceptible to scald and spot blotch with only intermediate resistance to other smuts, spot form net blotch, net form net blotch and fusarium head blight. It has only fair lodging resistance. The height in the seed guide is listed as 84 centimeters, but this can differ based on the growing conditions. Current malt barley variety. AAC Synergy. Syngenta is the distributor. It was bred by Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada in Brandon, Manitoba and was registered in 2012. So in 2022, it is 10 years old. In 2021, it was grown on 11% of the barley acres in Alberta. It is a two row variety. It is susceptible to loose smut and scald. It has intermediate resistance to other smuts and fusarium head blight but it has moderate resistance to net form net blotch and resistance to spot form net blotch and spot blotch. It has only fair lodging resistance. The height in the seed guide is listed as 80 centimeters, but this can differ based on the growing conditions. These three Czech cultivars are being compared with seven relatively new or next generation malt barley varieties. 
Now these next generation malt barley varieties have vast improvements in disease resistance, they have yield improvements, and many of them have improvements in standability. Now the expression of these benefits really depends on the environment. Now if you have drought conditions, um, the differences, the visual differences are quite minimal um, in disease resistance and standability. However, with that 12 inches of rain and um, the really moderate temperatures, we're getting great visual differences um, in the varieties at this site here today. AAC Connect Canterra Seeds is the distributor. It is a two-row malt barley variety registered in Canada in 2016. It was developed at the Brandon Research Centre of Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. AAC Connect has moderate resistance to spot form net blotch, spot blotch and fusarium head blight. It also has resistance to other smuts. It is a variety with good lodging resistance. The height in the seed guide is listed at 80 centimeters, but this can differ based on the growing conditions. CDC Bow, Secan is the distributor. It is a two row malt barley variety registered in Canada in 2015. It was developed at the University of Saskatchewan's Crop Development Centre. It's moderately resistant to spot form net blotch with intermediate resistance to other smuts and spot blotch. It is a variety with a very good lodging resistance rating. This does not mean the variety will not lodge under conditions of high fertility and high rainfall, but it is less likely to lodge or will lodge less severely. The height in the seed guide is listed at 77 centimeters, but this can differ based on the growing conditions. CDC Fraser Secan is the distributor. It is a two-row malt barley variety registered in Canada in 2016. It was developed at the University of Saskatchewan's Crop Development Centre. It's moderately resistant to other smuts, spot and net form net blotch. It is resistant to loose smut and spot blotch. It is a variety with good lodging resistance rating according to the Alberta Seed Guide. The height in the seed guide is listed at 76 centimeters, but this can differ based on growing conditions. CDC Copper FP Genetics is the distributor. It is a two-row malt barley variety registered in Canada in 2018. It was developed at the University of Saskatchewan's Crop Development Centre. CDC Copper has moderate resistance to other smuts, scald, spot form and net form net blotch. It has intermediate resistance to loose smut and spot blotch. It is a variety with good lodging resistance. The height in the seed guide is listed at 72 centimeters, but this can differ based on the growing conditions. CDC Churchill, Secan is the distributor. It is a two row malt barley variety registered in Canada in 2019. It was developed at the University of Saskatchewan's Crop Development Centre. It has moderate resistance to other smuts, spot form and net form net blotch. It has intermediate resistance to spot blotch. It is a variety listed as having good lodging resistance. The height in the seed guide is listed as 74 centimeters, but this can differ based on the growing conditions. AB Brunet, Seednet is the distributor. It is a two row malt barley variety registered in Canada in 2019. It was developed at the Field Crop Development Centre in Lacombe. It has moderate resistance to other smuts and fusarium head blight. It has intermediate resistance to scald, spot form net blotch and spot blotch. It is a tall variety with good lodging resistance. The height in the seed guide is listed as 86 centimeters, but this can differ based on the growing conditions. AAC Prairie. Cantera Seeds is the distributor. It is a two row malt barley variety registered in Canada in 2020. It was bred by Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada in Brandon, Manitoba. It has moderate resistance to net form net blotch with intermediate resistance to spot form net blotch, spot blotch and fusarium head blight. It is hopeful that this new variety could be ideally suited to the mainstream industry and a replacement for long standing malt barley varieties. So there's really some exciting new malt barley varieties coming to the market. Growers should check out their Alberta seed guide and talk to local seed growers to understand how varieties are performing in their area and understand that local adaptability. Now I do want to caution growers that growers should have a contract in place if they want to grow one of these newer malt barley varieties for the malt market. If your maltster will not accept the variety for malt, it will need to be sold into the feed market. So we want to make sure that everyone's making informed decisions. 
Alberta farmers can find more information about malt barley variety performance from two key sources, so the Alberta Seed Guide and the interactive map. Now, variety performance in these two locations is derived from data like at the trial we have here and at the nine locations that we have growing across the province. Now the interactive map allows Western Canadian farmers and malt buyers to access photos, videos and malt barley quality information from various field trial sites. An interactive map is a valuable tool for promoting variety quality performance in the different geographic regions and to help growers make certified seed purchase decisions in late fall and early winter.